This video I've been wanting to shoot for a very long time because we've been planning for ages on it. Um, I finally got rid of the super heavy draw system that I had in the back of the car that never really worked properly. Um, I've, I reckon I've got another inch lift just from taking those heavy drawers out. Um, but now I want to put back in um, a fridge cabinet, which is the start of a, a whole back end kitchen. I've got a, an idea in my thought how the whole back end of these patrols should look. Um, and this is the first step. This video, we're going to talk about the fridge cabinet, this one just here. And the brief was to our supplier, um, we wanted to use a drawer fridge because by the time you get into the back of a patrol in a chest fridge, it's like, you know, the lid's about this high, so you can't get in there. Um, it needed to be, uh, we tested a few fridges, the Evercool 40 litre uh, was the winner, so now we're Evercool dealers, that's cool. Um, there were some other requirements too. So it had to look like our false floor with the same sort of carpeting um, through experience. And every thought that's gone into this has been like what I've seen out with mates and stuff on the tracks. Um, but when I went up to Fraser Island, the drawer fridge in cabinet that I started off with um, didn't work very well in the humidity. So we wanted to have some fans built into it. So that's what we've done here. There's cooling fans across the top. Um, we, it needed to be as light as possible because everything we do is light, so it's all made out of aluminium. Inspired by George's um, cook-ups, we wanted um, the drawer to be made of stainless steel and massive, like as big as it can go. <laughs> it's not bolted down, I won't go any further. But that's all stainless steel when I take this um, plastic off. Because I've seen him in his flamboyant style. He gets all the chops out, all his Greek chops, and he spices them all. And then he puts lemon and he just like crushes it all over everywhere. And by the time he's finished preparing what he's about to cook, you want to hose the thing off, not just wipe it off. So um, we needed to have a huge bench space. Like I want to be able to fill it, a barramundi on here one day. Um, and then just clean it off easily. Um, but I wanted to cater in for some um, cooking too. So at the back here, we've got this clip-on little utility part that just <laughs> folds off. Um, and the idea is you can either let an induction cooktop fall into this, um, or you can put a sink into it or a bin bag, just something that's at the end that you don't want there the whole time um, uh, that you can use for your utility. When you've got the cooktop there, like the, the door of the Y62, the tailgate ends about here. So all the like smells and stuff that come out of it don't go in the car, they go straight up. There's no question this is a dash product. They actually light up as well in there. Um, I think they're a tri-color LED, but it's for a patrol. Why do you know it's a patrol? Have you seen this shape before? <laughs> That's the, the C-pillar shape of the back window of a patrol. Um, and then there'll be some storage. So you can still put the seats back. This goes right up to the seats and you can lean the seats back. A little magnetic lock here. And there'll be some storage at the back. And you might be thinking, so what? It's another like drawer cabinet thingy. But um, the reason this project has taken so long is because I had some very specific requirements. Uh, I'm going to call this line here the horizon, where it goes from cream to dark. Uh, I didn't want the whole fridge cabinet to go any higher than that line, because that's where we often put switches and other bits and pieces. And if you look at what else is on the market and every time someone puts up a post on Facebook with um, their draw system I look at it really really closely um, and I'm impressed by a lot of them to be honest this is where we've got a lot of ideas from but um, if you have an Evercool fridge drawer and a table underneath it's near impossible to get to that line so we had a lot of revisions in making this to make sure it didn't go above that line also a part of the brief was if you wanted to take it out reasonably quickly, you could. So what we're going to try and do is put like nut certs through here. It's going to sit on this margin here. Where's my light? There we go. Um, so the false floor um, is going to sit on that margin straight down here. Anyone that tells you you can't mount drawers to this floor has got no idea and they're probably upset about something. Um, and it will go to about here and this is going to leave us um, places to put things down the side like the induction cooktop and a few other little gizmos I've got in mind There is another whole concept which is gonna what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna save that for a different video um, Now's the exciting part. I get to put it in my car I've been watching Steve play around with his for I don't know six months now. He got the prototype now I actually get one for my car <laughs> I'm gonna put it in 
Oh, what a miserable day. Ugh. Anyway, all right. <laughs> My little yellow trolley jacks up to that high and it doesn't quite make it. I'm gonna have to think of something else to lift this in here on my own. But you can see what I mean though. If you had a fridge, like a chest fridge in here, on a slide, it's gonna be like that high. Like, where am I? That high. <laughs> like I can just see on top of it. Um, all right, let's work out how to get this thing in. I know it looks big for like a 40 litre fridge, but you kind of need to. And there is storage from the second row here too. So the fridge only goes up to here. Actually, it wasn't too hard at all. So the idea is, um, that's the line that goes up there for the false wall breakaway. So you could still have another seat come up here. Um, and you can still, and the way that I've done it again, the front of it is on this line. Um, so you can still wiggle this hatch out if you wanted to. So for people that um, still want to have one seat on this side, no problems at all, and have a, a decent sized fridge too. I'll show you how the rest of it looks. Oh, Amy wings have got to come in handy here. So that's the gap behind the seat, so you can still lean the seat back if you want a bit. Um, and what else should we look at? And this is the gap down the side here. So this is where I want to have like my utilities and that will make sense a bit later. All right, so the plan to fix this in, see how in here there's all those little holes? I don't know if you can pick up on that. Oh, can I get in there? Oh, it's probably a shadow, bad camera work. Anyway, there's lots of holes there, heaps. I'm gonna pick up about, I don't know, 10 of them, mark them on each side and then get these little doodads. So that's a little um, like nutsert for wood. Um, so that'll fit in like that and then basically nut and bolt it from the top so that is not going anywhere um, we actually had this floor rated dynamically um, so we put it on like an oscillating machine for I don't know can't remember at times like two million cycles or something and um, so this has been rated to have 300 well I think it was three or 350 kilos on top of it anyway the, the floor is good to take something like this um, and if you've got a worth cabinet at your shop um, or you just need to get some nuts and bolts drive in nut there's the code for that one um, there's the bolts for that one and there's the washers as well um, all right time to do some work all right Steve's rocked up it's a Saturday so it looks like I'm gonna have to do this properly now to mark all these holes out, what I'm going to do, because it's like quite angled to get, like I've, oh, first of all, I've taken the whole um, table out, and then essentially I've got to go mark the centre of all these holes. Now to do that, it's hard to get in there, so what I'm going to do is get some of, um, <laughs> I was looking for a texture, I couldn't find any, so I'm going to get um, a bit of this white stuff. By the way, this is the best Loctite if you're doing air fittings, um, instead of like thread tape. I'm going to get a little bit of that on there. And I'm just going to put that in the centre of the hole. And I'm going to go around and mark all the holes so when I take it off I can drill them. Didn't you like my idea with the angle and the white stuff? Did you see what this guy's going to try and do? We're going to, we're going to put some holes <laughs> in a false floor. He put my thread tight on the end of that and put a dot. Like, come on. What are you going to do? Don't do what Dave did. What's your plan? Hashtag. Stick it in the hole, lift your fridge off, drill through the bloody thing. Yeah, but that's too <laughs> like, simple. I like to be a bit more convoluted uh, in life. Look at this. Done. There's one. <laughs> oh. uh, straight in there. Oh, lift the fridge up and you got a hole. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, okay, that's easier. <laughs> That's, is this when it's ADR approved now because he's using an ADR sticker? Yeah, mate. <laughs> Alright, so there's all the little dots that we put in, zigzagged all the way through. We're not going to need to get purchase on all of them, but because there's all this stuff under the floor, we'll um, have a look to see which ones. I can get access to, so I can put that river nut on the underside. But I reckon what we might do going forward with these floors, we'll blueprint that, and we could um, pre-drill like just two millimeters in all those little dots. So um, when you go and fit this into a dash floor, those holes are already marked. Alternative, maybe even 
create a stencil so you could lay that on the top um, that's probably not a bad idea so yep something to look into all right so this is the fridge oh that way all nice and new steve's drill on the floor what i want to have a look at is where these lights are in the back here they wire up from here so i could put them on a switch um, with the fan um, and i guess if you're electrically minded and there's red lights that go in here as well but i'm wondering if i could tap into the fan on the back of the fridge here wherever it is i'm gonna have to crack it open and have a look what's in there drill through anything yeah <laughs> just the air tank <laughs> all right over here so i've pulled the back of this fridge off i'm sure evercool isn't going to be over the moon about this and probably the heat goodbye warranty but that's the fan um and that goes around to the circuit board so i'm going to tap into this to get those other fans running up here they're like computer fans they use stuff full power so i think that'll be fine um but really if you're gonna do this probably you should probably put on a switch there we go bolts in the floor here see that oh it's hard to see they're all down there on the home stretch now so this is a little face plate that sort of goes in here to like just basically finish it all off uh, but you've got to pull the drawer like the fridge drawer out um, so that can happen and then back here i'm just putting some little plugs on here um, up to the lights we're so close to turn it on so monday's come around i ran out of time like i do with every one of my projects and um <laughs> spoke to the product manager about how i'm wiring up the the fridge and the fans he's like no don't do that I'm like ooh. and i must admit i tried wiring it directly to the fans and uh, through the fridge and air code so um he's kind of come up so basically you have to switch it um or we might come up with like a temperature sensitive relay that you might be able to install i've been a bit dodgy so this is another don't do what dave did i'll show you what i did all right so in the back of it here essentially i've just got a relay coming off of that wire that i got out of the, the fridge here um and just hidden up there so that will turn and i've put a little power box in here as well just so i've got so this is going to turn into a nice little spot for all my charging so this is where i put the camera the gopro the drone that can all just charge there off usb tucked away where no one's going to damage it because that has been an issue when i've been filming full driving um and the fans will come on now i just need come on fridge kick in wouldn't it be nice if they just come on right now anyway look at that <laughs> through the power of youtube um so as the fridge cook, cuts in that's going to come on that's cool i like it and it all sits up nice and neat out of the way nothing in there is going to be able to get damaged awesome so the last part of this is like we're going to have a package like for the fridge and the um the cabinet uh, then separate to that we're going to have this bit that fits on the end so that little bit there uh, I've put a sink in it we're not going to sell them just go to BCF or something um, but we will have the safari uh, cooktops that go in there and there's a nice little bag that goes around it um, to keep it all safe and the idea of it is going to slot in down the side here so that's why we've got that we can put the sink down there the safari cooktop and have everything sort of wedging in there nicely um, thanks Wayne next video it won't be next it's going to be a while it's probably six months i reckon i'll show you what we're going to do on this side because this is going to be at another level again i can't wait